For the price of this one pen, you can buy a whole Rolex Submariner. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Can. Welcome to another fantastic video. Today we're gonna to talk about something very special, not watches, but beautiful pens. But not just any simple pens, pens which were created for watch brands and in collaboration with watch brands. I'm here with the pen game changer, Samuel Naldi, my dear friend. Sorry for the gloves. <laughs> all good, all good. I like the gloves, uh, keep, them, keep them clean. So today we are in your beautiful shop here in Zug, Switzerland. You're not only a retailer for pens like uh, Mont Blanc or I should say writing instruments, because I know pens is like a derogatory term. Call them as you want. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you have Mont Blanc, Carandash, Otto Hood, uh, many of the biggest basically brands for writing instruments. I collect a few as well, obviously, due to your inspiration. So you're basically focusing on growing the whole pen industry for the next generation, of course. It's an industry slightly uh, older, obviously, like the watches, so we have to bring in some fresh blood, right? Absolutely. So today we have very cool pieces here. There's also two fantastic pens here and one very special one here, maybe the talk of the today's video, mm -hmm. which will come at the end. So which one do you want to start with here on the tray? Well, since today I'm wearing a Chrono Swiss, yeah. I would say, why don't we start with the green demonstrator that we have here. Demonstrator can be yeah. somehow related to skeleton mm -hmm. watches because it's a see-through model. Yeah. And this is a piece that Pelican specifically created for Chrono Swiss. Very cool. And it's super unusual that Pelican bases on the Souverain mm -hmm. and they created all the special uh, pieces. I'm gonna hand it over to you uh, uh, so you can actually discover it. So I see some similarities, right? Like the knurling here? Absolutely, absolutely. So you have the, um, the onion crown yeah. on the clip. You have all the decoration that can be found on the watch too. What's also super cool is the fact that it features an 18 karat gold nib mm -hmm. that has- It's a big nib as well, huh? Absolutely, it's a very nice uh, number six nib. So it's a very nice size. Um, it has the embossing of Chrono mm -hmm. Swiss. And you know, what should I say? It's a bit like uh, those Rolexes with, I don't know, the Tiffany logo uh, on it. Exactly. Th that's kind of this kind of pieces. And we had a chance to actually sell the last 88 pieces yeah. uh, that were found in the basement of Chrono Swiss here at Stahl of Zug. Super successful. And um, you know, one of the really special pieces where uh, Mr. Gerdrud Gerlang of uh, Chrono Swiss decided to joint venture with Pelican. Very cool. And Pelican and did this uh, very unusual thing of taking their classic and iconic yeah. model and applying it with awesome. the details of that's of a very Swiss. cool fountain pen. So next we have something I see here which also features gears on it. Absolutely. And some, and some numbers. You know who designed this pen for Karen Dash? No. Eric Giroux. Eric Giroux, huh? Yeah, the watch know. designer. Huh? <laughs> exactly. So see, today's video is again connecting these two worlds, right? Listen, these two worlds are super well connected because, uh, I mean, uh, the know-how that goes into creating pens is yeah. similar to the know-how that goes into creating watches. It's a different kind of know-how, so watch manufacturers are not able to create pens because it's another kind of engineering. Yeah. But you see, often these two worlds melt with each other. This Very was a cool. pen that sold for about 6,000 euros, uh, the rollerball, this is the rollerball. Uh, very, very limited. Eric Giroux was appointed to create the design. Uh, he's famous for having created some very nice ambient devs. Exactly, uh, exactly. Um, and yeah, so you see super watch related, not a joint venture with a brand, yeah. but you know, meant for all people that uh, are watch lovers and would like to have uh, a very nice writing instrument. Like with the diver bezel almost like on top of it. Huh? You have the Super Luminova yeah. that goes ah, up. Ah, nice, nice. So, you know, it's like having somehow uh, the tactile feeling of, of touching your watch, and right? small gears everywhere, even here on the clip, huh? Absolutely. I Very mean, just cool. look at the incredible details on, on the yeah. barrel is out this of this is, world, right? Absolutely. So, the next one, let's say, maybe start again on this side. What, yeah, what so, are we looking at here? so this is a project, Edelberg is, uh, is our own brand mm -hmm. that we launched around 12 years ago. So, like you said, we're not only retailers, yeah. uh, we, we're actually entrepreneurs in the, in industry of writing instruments. Yeah. And this is a specific pen, a limited edition of uh, 88 pieces that we created together with Laurent Picciotto yeah. of Chrono Passion. He Very has cool. his beautiful store uh -huh. at the Rue Saint-Honoré, uh, du Faubourg Saint-Honoré. And you see also here you have watch gears mm -hmm. on uh, a carbon fiber barrel. You have super luminova line that glows up in the dark. Nice. And the design was created by Alvaro Soler. 
and you see you have this um, writing instrument that mixes with uh, watch uh, mm -hmm. um, art and art by itself, handmade. So a piece that we were very, very proud to, to do and that was also very successful, I have to and say. And also the clip hides, huh? so when I turn this part, it goes up and down, huh? like Bravissima. in mechanical uh, <laughs> engineering. Huh? We, we actually met <laughs> with yes. this pen, right? Yes. So yes. That's, that's a fun story. Uh, uh, this one I think I call like a magical pen or something. Exactly. And you were like, who, who the hell is this guy? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> that was Basel 2016 maybe. Yeah, with Esper Lux. Uh, Esper with, Lux, yeah. with Chris. Right. So what's the price of this one? This one runs for about 2,000 uh, euro. Yeah. So I think the price range is around there. To be honest, it's also like sold out. We yeah. have one piece left and, and that's it. So Yeah, so again, all of these pieces here are mostly for sale. So if somebody has an inquiry or question, and just get over to, over to Samuel channels. I'm going to link them obviously in the description below. Exactly. They're for sale, but no, they're not pieces that are available on the market normally. Yeah. Should then, we go uh, further the, to the something? Next, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is something I oh, like. So we're going to follow the this line. Is, uh, yeah, this is, this is something out of the ordinary. Louis Cartier yeah. is famous for having created these watch pens. And uh, let me show you, and then I'll show hand me. it over to you. This has a montre secrète. Oh. And when you actually turn it, it's so like a secret compartment exactly, for the watch. Exactly, exactly. I need this. <laughs> and it's a ballpoint limited edition. It, this one even has the engraving of uh, Mr. Mansimov. He's okay. a very famous Azerbaijani uh, entrepreneur that also has connections with Turkey. Was once also being awarded as the entrepreneur of the year. And uh, it's a very, very cool piece. And this watch pens of Cartier, very difficult to find. There yeah. aren't any right now at Cartier boutiques because no. they do it every once in a while they do a limited edition whenever you get your hands on one of these totally go for it yeah. because they're going to be extremely in, uh, important collector pieces mm -hmm. just think of it marco the pen industry is where the watch industry was 30 years ago yeah. so i come from the watch industry i've seen it grow i've seen what happened over the last 15 years and the same is going to happen with pens so the prices will increase dramatically this is very cool. and this is the time to to go for things like this next i also see like a very prominent uh, logo and also motif here uh, yeah yeah. Obviously, Jacob & Co. five time zone. You got it. What's the story behind this pen and why did you have it? Absolutely. So, so this pen was commissioned by Jacob & Co. to my father mm -hmm. um, to create a writing instrument for, uh, for them. Yeah. So my father did this uh, piece for them in sterling silver with mm -hmm. emile, with uh, lacquering. Uh, you see each single element here is in uh, resin mm -hmm. and in silver and they're applied by hand one uh, above each other. Very it cool. was made as a rollerball and as a fountain pen in different kind of colors. This was a pen that probably Jacob would gift or sell at their boutique, mm -hmm. most of all. Yeah, and also the, they have a very sick fountain pen, the Godfather pen, which you made a video about, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. It was produced by Montegrappa. So yeah. again, it's always a watchmaker that mm -hmm. works with a fountain pen maker or a pen maker in order to cool. create this work of art. It's nice to see how many uh, of uh, like watch uh, brands are now getting into pens, you yeah. know? So then again, something I recognize just by the hands and yes. then when you see the crown and the logo of course absolutely Bove, a very cool brand known for decoration engraving things that you don't get really don't get to see anywhere it's a 20 years old pen if not more and uh it's gorgeous uh, yeah very it's cool. so very much well made, detail and everything. made in italy it's very nice and then a bigger brand still existing today as well Exactly. You told me this is a very special pen. This is a very special pen because this is uh, an Omas and it's a pen that Omas created for uh, Zenith. Now this is a rollerball. I think they did this one only as a rollerball. Mm -hmm. This is the famous uh, Omas uh, 360 in this um, dem brown demonstrator. Omas unfortunately went out of business. It was yeah. a big disaster for the industry. Now it looks like they're coming back. They have released this new Omas Ojiva. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, this is also a very cool collection item because it's uh, a very important uh, model of the industry yeah. but made for Zenit yeah. and they did it once and they and won't be it, doing yeah. it again. Highly valuable. These are not for sale by the way. Huh? These are yeah. part of our own uh, museum uh, or, or collection, also the Beauvais. But uh, if you want to make an offer... Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to accept it. <laughs> <laughs> you can try but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have a few pens here which are 
writing instruments so which, that's are, right. which are not with watch brands collaborated but i love them so this is a, a masterpiece this is like if you buy a a what let's say for the price point and the decoration so this is around six thousand francs yeah. i always say you know the ratio between a, a, a pen for 5,000 is like five to 10 times. So yeah. it's like if you're buying a watch for 25,000 or yeah. for 50,000 in that range, you know? So this is a very important piece of uh, Monte Grappa. And this is like an Urwerk or Ambien F, if you ask me. Yes, like exactly. Like 100 to no, 100 K piece. Absolutely. This and is insane. Marco, think about it. This is a limited, limited edition of 333 pieces. So that's a, not even a number, right? I mean, this is maybe the quantity of, of watches that Ambien F does, you yeah. know? Yeah. And uh, you have these incredible decorations, the lacquering uh, in sterling silver, super complicated to do. This is a fountain pen with 18 karat gold nib with the engraving of Dante Alighieri. This is the Inferno specifically, inspired to um, the, um, the, the comedy, no? The comedy, exactly. La Divina Commedia of Dante Alighieri, um, out of this world. You know, we're really talking is... here about the top notch collector item. Yeah. I have collectors who have the trilogy mm -hmm. of this. The Paradiso, Inferno, and Purgatorio, and uh, absolutely piece that is out Just of this world. The clip as the well. Clip, like the clip that is the tail. Or something. Exactly. Exactly. So oh, this is a dream, dream fountain pen. Jesus. Yeah. yeah, and look, Marco, just, just to say, I, I just compared this to a $25,000 yeah. watch, oh, so it's but big. it's around 6,000 yeah. francs. So yeah. you're buying the peak luxury yeah. somehow. You can always spend more. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in gold. It's going to have diamonds and so on. But yeah. in this price range, you're already at the top and you spent 5,000. So it's a kind of even more democratic luxury yeah. item that is, you know. Meant because I remember in the first we did with it together we showed fountain pens i think two of them were above fifty thousand swiss francs absolutely so yeah. you can go higher for sure if, if you have the desire to do that yeah exactly <laughs> but it's like you know it's up to you if you want to buy a tourbillon yeah. or something like this yeah, you know? it's really so, really personal exactly it depends what you collect exactly so this is this is insane yeah. this, this doesn't even feel like a fountain pen it's so big and majestic Stacy piece, a huh? dragon on it, a phoenix maybe as well. Huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, this is uh, uh, what is this? <laughs> so this is Russian miniature. Um, this is actually the dragon, and has this beautiful gold um, miniature painting that yeah. is handmade by this uh, Russian miniature artist. The Russians are very famous for that. Uh, the brand is called Phoenix. It has this yeah. very nice number oh, eight, uh, uh, eighteen karat gold nib. Uh, it can be filled using the um, piston fill yeah. mechanism down here. Actually, this is also uh, how you release the air in order for the mm -hmm. pen to flow right. Yeah. So similar to the Emperor of Namiki, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which uh, we have shown in the mm -hmm. old in the, the first, first video. video. And uh, this runs for about ten thousand dollars, and is a real massive oh, piece. It's insane. Yeah, this is beautiful. You see, Marco, this is something for someone that really appreciates the incredible craftsmanship that goes into making such a fountain pen. It's hours and hours and hours of work. To and again, it. this is something. Let's say I, I also had the pleasure of purchasing the Moctezuma Mont Blanc from you. Thank so you. So this is a pen for special occasions, right? If I meet somebody that I want to impress or that he appreciates what I'm showing him. He's gonna love it, and it's gonna leave an impression on the on the whole event, basically. Absolutely. If you sign a contract, like you say, it's good to have you know a nice fountain pen. The next one here is also something I really love. Yeah, that's uh, the Namiki yeah. Lioness and Cubs Maquille, priced at around 5,600 Swiss francs. Incredible uh, craftsmanship. We get only like two per year of yeah. this piece, this so beautiful. it's very limited. And obviously, you know, once the artist cannot draw this anymore yeah, then this it. acquires value yeah, and yeah. that's it exactly so they disappear from the market huh? yes absolutely just look at the lioness oh. just look at the raiden impressions and details here this is like collecting jaune or you know some of these brands, right? exactly and also here you can go even more expensive in namiki you know yeah. there is uh, the namiki emperor limited editions there yeah. are 13 15 000. some older namiki maquille are now going for 30k yeah. you know uh, but uh, uh, it's smart for anyone who buys something like like this it's yeah. super smart smart because you're gonna get something that's really gonna acquire value yeah we're not here to to do investment tips yeah, right yeah. but i think it's always nice to know we see where daytonas are now i know where daytonas were in 2008 yeah it grew nobody knew but you know you, you should have yeah, bought daytonas back then right I and mean, this is like with watches that i always say buy what you like 
But of course, it's good to know that the value will stay or gain a bit as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So before we come to the, the gray lip here, we have two very cool fountain pens here, which people probably thought it's just books and decorations. <laughs> it's something I always wanted to have because uh, I do have uh, the Mont Blanc Ro Rouge Noir snake exactly. Exactly. fountain pen and yes. I think I have the rollerball. Yep. So here we have two Agatha Christie limited edition. Exactly. So maybe I should... Uh, so nice. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And, and it's rare to have them both, you yeah. know, in a store physically to With see. With the box. With the box, With the box. Brand new. This is actually sold, by the way. Yeah. Um, that's nice. a medium nib. Great. So these are the <laughs> second second edition that Montblanc did in the Brighter's Edition series. Yeah. In Back in 1993. Very important model. A piece that has already acquired value over time. Yes. Now, this one I've gets sold at about 2,000. This one gets sold at about 4,000 euros. And uh, this one is a limited edition of of 30,000 pieces, but obviously there are very few on the market. Yeah. And the Verme one is a limited edition of 4,810 pieces. Yeah. So there's even less of this one on the market. Yeah, the prices are very stable because I always check to you know if something's available. It is, and <laughs> Marco always hovering around the same number. <laughs> 100%, and just think, there is n the market isn't that big yet, but it's growing all the yeah. time. There is more and more young entrepreneur and collectors who are joining and who have uh, the power to, to acquired this kind of pieces and the price that gets sold right now is ridiculous yeah. it's it's nothing yet you know so this this pens here will will really grow over time i'm really happy to have this here at the store there are others on ebay sometimes yeah. so i always suggest to go check it out we're not trying to do a sales pitch here of the yeah. pen, pens i have uh, at the store at all because I'm, I'm even happy to have them displayed here and not being yeah. sold right now <laughs> <laughs> because once they're gone it's difficult yeah, to it's source to a new find one them back, yeah. exactly sure. exactly sure. and every year there's a new edition coming out yeah. of the writer's edition yeah and each year they're harder to get exactly <laughs> <laughs> So, last but definitely not least, this was lent to us by our good friend Sandro Cazzata. Exactly, Sandro is a great entrepreneur, great pen collector, watch collector yeah. also. Connoisseur of fine things. A connoisseur <laughs> of fine things. Basically. And uh, this is the beautiful Carondash MBNDF Astrograph, yeah. which by now is sold out, yeah. by the way. So you might find it at the boutique in Dubai of MBNDF. Yeah. So and basically, MBNDF who creates beautiful watches, which we showed on the channel before, and Carondash, a world renowned writing instrument maker, joint forces. So this is something, again, uh, I never saw in person. That's probably the last time I'm going to see it as well. To walk us through it. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a very good question. And what's, oh and what's the price maybe? Because yeah, yeah, this so is... Th this piece here, uh, I mean, it's, this is not just a pen. This yeah. is more than that. It's oeuvre of, of art yeah. like MBNDF often does. It's a limited edition of 99 pieces. Yeah. runs for about oh, 20,000 euro. Very, very small uh, limitation. You have the fountain pen by unscrewing ah. the top part. You have this beautiful fountain pen with 18 carats so gold. So it's nib. actually a very light to write with huh? you can write yeah. with it you know you, this Sounds is like a, a, a modern uh, desk pen somehow yeah. you know and then you can put it back in like this yeah. or you can twist it back but if you want to use it you can just put it back like this and pull it out pull it in yeah so now i'm going to release it here yeah let me see uh -huh. bam and now there is the exact positioning of where we're going to put it like this and there's even the little astronaut that can be put like this here Wow, so he climbs up the stairs. He climbs up the stairs the and ship. goes back into the rocket ship, Ready right? To go, huh? This is like toys for boys, you know? This is <laughs> toys for boys, Marco. And you have to tell me, beside watches, beside a nice car, yeah, what it. other yeah. item is there yeah. that you can collect and have such, you know, emotions throughout the day, yeah, you know? Difficult, difficult. But it's cool. Again, somebody comes to you, if you have like a nice office, you pull out the pen, he signs something, it's just sick. Absolutely. Jesus, yeah. this is nice. Awesome. So what's your favorite from the from the table here? I have to say I'm I'm very fond of this Cartier pen watches. Yeah. I love it. I, yeah. I actually try to collect them as much as I can. Yeah. So uh, it's definitely not for sale. Uh, <laughs> no, the, this one this one is not for sale right now. But yeah, what we have seen today here is uh is pieces that are really extraordinary. Montegrappa, what they do, Namiki with the Maquille. Oh, no, it's uh, insane. This Pelican that actually there are still around 20 pieces available right now. Yeah. So it's a piece that I would go for it like mm. right away. 
and, and this, is, too, this, this is like a Paul Newman, you know? Yeah. Like, this is for connoisseur. When you see someone with this pen, I'm gonna stop and say, we go for lunch and you tell me who you are yeah. because I wanna know everything about you. So this is this kind of yeah. piece. True, true, true. Awesome, bro. So it's a collecting watches, you know? Something for everybody here. Again, you can collect also just across the board, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like with watches as with pens. So guys, uh, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite or maybe which pen do you have. Obviously, I also suggest to check out Samuel's channel if you like fountain pens and if you want to dive into that world. Again, prepare to lose some money because uh, he's uh, very convincing in his stories. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for having us in your beautiful shop. I thank you so much for coming. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you soon.